and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make my pumpkins. I use a 22 pin knitting machine to make these and I have a link in the description with all the details that you need. So let's get started. We're going to start with a knit tube. Again, I made this on my 22 pin knitting machine and it's 43 rounds. All other information you'll find will be in the link that's in the description. So we're going to start by cinching one end closed and then we're going to fold it inside of itself so that both ends meet. After folding it, you're going to want to cinch both ends closed here and we're going to kind of tie it into the knot to keep everything in place. On this project, you're going to want some extra long yarn tails. You're going to use those to shape the pumpkin, but you only need one. So I'm going to trim one of them off, I'm going to tie some extra knots to make sure everything's secure. And that little short tail is going to stay inside the pumpkin. I'm going to thread my uh, long yarn tail onto the darning needle so I can bring it out to the other side of the pumpkin because I need that on the outside. I'm going to be using that to create my ridges that make up the pumpkin's uh, form, I guess. I'm going to use the yarn tail that I cut off and I'm going to um, thread it along this folded edge. I'm going to pick up one bar of each of the knit stitches. So it's kind of like every other little um, stitch to create a drawstring. We're going to do this so that we can cinch this end of the tube closed. Now that the drawstring is back at the beginning, it's time to stuff the pumpkin with some fluff or polyfill. I'm just using um, old pillow filling. And you're gonna wanna stuff it with just enough stuffing so that you have a nice round shape. If you overstuff your pumpkin, that makes it so that the light shows through the knit stitches and we don't want that. I kinda create a little hole in the middle. This makes it easier for when you're shaping your pumpkin to um, you know, insert your darning needle through. So I just wanna make sure I have enough hole there to get my needle through. So then we're gonna cinch close, tie some knots to secure it in place, and then we're ready for the next step. I only need one yarn tail for the remainder of this um, project. So I'm going to bring this one through, kind of cinch a little bit here just to tighten up the pumpkin to give it kind of like a little dip in the middle and the shape. I'm gonna tie it to the other yarn tail and then I'm gonna hide the yarn tail on the inside of the pumpkin and trim off any excess yarn. Okay, let's form the bumps or the ridges of the pumpkin. I don't really know uh, what you call that on a real pumpkin, but here for a knit pumpkin, I take my yarn tail and I go right down the center of a knit column or knit, I guess it would be a row maybe, not across any of them. I wanna make sure it's going through the, like along the bars of a knit um, column of stitches. And then I go back through and insert through the center of the pumpkin. And because I made that hole with the polyfill, it's really easy to get my darning needle through that center. And I'm just going to repeat that maybe five or six times. I kind of just do it by look. I just make them and adjust as I go. And I don't make all of my pumpkins completely uniform. Some have five bumps, some have six bumps. It just really depends on how I'm feeling. I go back to the beginning I just go over that very first one again just to secure it in place okay so now it looks like I ended up with five uh, sections I'm gonna look to see which side I think looks like it makes a good top of the pumpkin and at this time I'm gonna add a little stem there's lots of different ways you can add stems I'm using a little faux leather stem that I sell in my shop I just use my yarn tail to attach it, and then I'm going to kind of smooth out the bottom. I'm gonna pick up a few stitches here on each of these sections, and I'm gonna create a drawstring on the bottom that helps me to cinch the bottom closed to make it look a little flatter and a little neater. And I'm gonna eliminate that hole that you can see there right now. 
Now that I've gone around one time on the base with the drawstring, I'm going to go back up to the top to add my leaf. I use the yarn tail to add the leaf. I also sell these leaves in my shop. And then we're going to go back down through the center to the bottom so we can finish off the base of the pumpkin. I'm back at the bottom. I'm going to go through one more time and put one more drawstring through, just picking up stitches on each of the sections to create that drawstring so I can cinch the... Um, base nice and tight. I'm going to tie a little knot right here, just kind of in between one of the sections here. And uh, then I'm going to hide my yarn tail by threading it through and um, cutting the excess off along the side of the pumpkin. Now that the pumpkin's finished, I just have one last thing to add. I'm going to make a few little adjustments and I'm going to add this little wooden charm. It's a little fall wooden saying charm that says give thanks. And I'm just going to use a bulb safety pin to attach it. I just pin it on, I just slide it in here and I'm just going to pin it on to the pumpkin. And once that's finished, then it's ready to be packaged with a few other pumpkins and given as a gift or you can package these up and sell them. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on how I make my tiny pumpkins. And just another reminder about the link that's in the description to the blog post that has all the other details that you need to make your own. Thanks again.